What's up guys, it's your girl Chloe Roma and welcome to my baking show called Baking with BS because that's exactly what I just fed you. This is not Rachel Ray. Welcome to how good women respond to the term nice guys finish last. In this video I'm going to be giving you the perspective of how good women view this term and why we feel like it might be happening. If at any point in this video you start to feel pissed off at me, I want you to remember two things. Number one, think of how hurtful and generic it is when you're like hitting it up with a girl trying to talk to her and she goes, oh, you're nice. And number two, when girls watch No Dick and they get really mad, what do we tell them? We tell them you're probably projecting because this is reminding you of behaviors that you are doing. So keep that in mind, please. Let's get into it. and probably the biggest one in our opinion is you are referring to yourself as a nice guy and not a good guy. Nice is, it's very like lukewarm and when women give that to guys, it's a very generic compliment. Let me give you a perspective. My boyfriend, he's a good guy and there are times where I don't always perceive him as nice. But you wanna know what the truth is? The truth is in the moments when I'm perceiving him as him not being nice, it's actually because he's not receiving something that I'm doing slash wanting the way that I'm wanting him to. He's still being nice. It's not that he's yelling or screaming and being unreasonable. It's because he's standing his ground. And those are usually the moments where he's saying no to something that I'm wanting. Or maybe he didn't receive affection the way that I wanted. Or maybe he took a comment the wrong way. And see, I have to check myself because as a woman, I understand that when I'm holding my ground, I'm perceived as being a bitch. But guys, when they're standing their ground, they're also perceived as being assholes. But what makes me and lots of other women like myself good women is the fact that we are able to check ourselves in those situations, that he's not being an asshole, he's standing his ground, and I respect him for that. Number two, this one may come as a little bit of a shock, but it is not a turn on and it's actually a red flag for us when you are a self-proclaimed nice guy. Those self-proclaimed nice guys are usually the first people to say that girls only want assholes. Well, we don't want assholes. The truth is we do actually want an old fashioned, nice, good guy. We want respectful men and there's lots of them out there. You're probably one of them right now. A genuinely nice guy shouldn't have to self-proclaim it. I'm a nice girl, but when I'm dating, I don't say, yeah, so I'm really nice. In my dating experience, the guys that had told me that they were nice guys were typically the ones that were calling me names when I had rejected them. No, I didn't specifically reject them because they said they were nice guys. I hadn't learned that that was a red flag yet. Actual nice guy when being rejected would say, okay, rejection stings. It does sting and it's okay to acknowledge that. But why would I want to be with somebody that isn't interested in me in the same way that I am anyways? On the streets, there's a saying that those who talk about it ain't about it. That essentially means that I have never met an actual gangster that has ever told me that he was a gangster. Number three, in my experience, they forget to take their time. They forget to zen. A good guy understands when you first start talking to somebody, a seed needs to be planted. Whereas the nice guy, they drive themselves crazy wondering why she hasn't answered or they get angry because she's out with her friends and he texted her but she never responded. Instead, she posted a picture on her Instagram of them out having a good time. See the difference? This has happened to me many times when I first started talking to somebody and I don't text them back right away. Maybe I'm busy. Um, we just haven't been talking long enough for me to engage like that. And then they'll get mad at me. And it's like, well, you know, you've got to let it grow. You've got to let that time happen. And you've got to let that seed be planted. But guess what? Sometimes we won't always get everybody. And sometimes you will be sitting wondering for a girl that just isn't interested. But that's why it's important not to put all your eggs into one basket all at once. Save some. Number four, the biggest reason I believe is because they turn into yes men. A good guy is able to hold his ground and say no to a girl and girls genuinely respect that. Nice guys usually get used by the toxic women that know that they'll say yes to everything that they want and then they completely miss us good girls. Please try to wean us out better and you can do that by saying no dick to the girls that will get mad at you and call you an asshole when you don't give them what they want. Those girls are toxic. They will play the nice girl until they don't get what they want and then they'll turn into freaking assholes. They just wanted to use you. They didn't want mutual respect in a relationship. So to those ones, just say no dick, fuck it and move on. Try to say no more, especially in the beginning of the relationship. Giving her everything and treating her like a princess is 
hey babe, do you think you could get up and grab that coffee and that blanket for me? If you say yes, absolutely, like that is, that's treating her good. If she says, hey, can I borrow your car to go get drunk with me and my friends? And you say yes, no. But if you say no and she gets mad at you, she's probably a sexist, she gets no dick, throw her out and come find good women that actually will respect you for holding your ground. And last but not least, I find this the most important to stress. You are not a failure. There are some guys who don't worry about the approach. They'll just walk up to a woman and shoot their shot. And there's others who internalize the fear of rejection a little bit more. And I am definitely one of those people. But you don't want to be stuck being that shy guy waving down the street while you miss up a good chance with a woman who probably would love to be with you, but you didn't take your shot. So instead, she married some asshole that doesn't respect her. I believe in you. You have to take a deep breath and shoot that shot. And when you're feeling nervous, I want you to remember two things. One, if you are, you're a really good guy. I bet that you're goofy and shy, yet sweet and courageous. And number two, please remember, you can buy the nicest running shoes but if you're too afraid to get them dirty, you are never going to win that race. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Leave your comments, tell me what you think, and I'll pick the best ones and respond to them.